Our flag bears the stars that blaze at night in our southern sky of blue. And the little old flag in the corner, well, that's part of our heritage too. It's for the English, the Scots and the Irish who were sent to the ends of the earth, the rogues and schemers, the doers and dreamers who gave modern Australia birth. And you who are shouting to change it, you don't seem to understand. It's the flag of our law and our language, not the flag of our faraway land. There are plenty of people who'll tell you how when Europe was plunged into night, that little old flag in the corner was their symbol of freedom and light. It doesn't mean we own all allegiance to a forgotten imperial dream. We're the stars to show where we're going and the old flag to show where we've been. Folks, here is one of the most stirring and unusual stories ever to come out of this last war. During the North African campaign, a bunch of soldier boys had been on a long hike, and they arrived at a little town called Casino. The next morning being Sunday, several of the boys went to church. The sergeant commanded the boys in church, and after the chaplain had read the prayer, the text was taken up next. Those of the boys that had prayer books took them out, excepting this one boy who had only a deck of cards, so he spread them out. The sergeant saw the cards and said, soldier, put away those cards. And after the service was over, the soldier was taken prisoner and brought before the provost marshal. The marshal said, sergeant, why have you brought this man here? For playing cards in church, sir. And what have you to say for yourself, son? Much, sir, replied the soldier. The marshal said, I hope so, for if not, I shall punish you more than any man was ever punished. The soldier said, you see, sir, we've been on the march for about six days. I had neither Bible nor prayer book. But I hope to satisfy you, sir, with the purity of my intentions. And with that, the boy started this story. You see, sir, when I look at the ace, it reminds me that there is but one God. And when I see the deuce, it reminds me that the Bible is divided into two parts, the Old and the New Testament. And when I look at the tray, I think of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And when I see the four, it reminds me of the four evangelists who preached the gospel. There was Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And when I see the five, it reminds me of the five wise virgins who trimmed their lamps. There were ten of them. Five were wise and were saved. Five were foolish and were shut out. And when I see the six, it reminds me that in six days, God made this great heaven and earth. And when I look at the seven, it reminds me that on that seventh day, God rested from his great work. When I see the eight, I think of the eight righteous people God saved when he destroyed this earth. There was Noah, his wife, their three sons and their wives. And when I see the nine, I think of the lepers our Savior cleansed. And nine out of the ten didn't even thank him. When I look at the ten, it reminds me of the ten commandments God handed down to Moses on a tablet of stone. When I see the king, it reminds me that there is but one king of heaven, God Almighty. And when I see the queen, I think of the blessed virgin Mary, queen of heaven, and the jack or knave is the devil. When I count the number of spots on a deck of cards, I find there are 365, the number of days in a year. There are 52 cards, the number of weeks in a year. There are four suits, the number of weeks in a month. There are 12 picture cards, the number of months in a year. There are 13 tricks, the number of weeks in a quarter. So you see, sir, my deck of cards serves me as a Bible, almanac, and prayer book. And friends, this story is true. I know because I knew that soldier. Thank you.
Your attention, please, while we pause in reverent memory of our departed comrades. They gave their tomorrow so that we could have our today. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Lest we forget. <laughs> 